Everyone's seen the video where Eric Miyashiro is able to, without effort, shoot fog out of his horn. Anyone can do it, even me, a third trumpet player at best. Let me show you how easy it is. Step one. If you know you've got a gig scheduled and if you're a trumpet player, you've got at least one to two per month, start 24 hours before your gig, take your favorite trumpet, go to the kitchen, You'll know that the second valve slide is very important. In fact, the secret component to this whole process. Our second valve slide, it's been roasting in the sun for over 24 hours in preparation to our gig. And it's been very, very hot here. You must find an ambient temperature of over 104 degrees for this process to work. Let me show you our outcome. It's very hot. Perfect. It's very important to have accurate tuning slide spacing. I prefer a ruler over my ear because the ruler's never wrong. You want to achieve an exact one inch gap on your main tuning slide for the fog to be achieved in your gig coming up. One inch, remember. One inch. Let's pull the trumpet out of the freezer. Ah, it's cold. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. <laughs> Having a clean instrument is important to the entire process. Any resistance you have in your trumpet could be detrimental to this entire process. I prefer to clean my trumpet this way. Fresh and pretty. Next, it's a simple process with a tool that everyone has in their homes. I think you'll find this quite a sight. I'll do this with parental parental health. Oh, I think we're done. Oh. Oh, it's hot. I've selected two dogs as the next part of a process. Now, dogs are man's best friend, but whippets, in fact, they're the trumpet player's best friend. They're the fastest dogs you could get, and I've also selected them because they help you with all those fast technical passages here. And they also aid with your trumpet mouthpiece. Here. <laughs> Put a little double C in there. There you go. And last but not least, it's important to add the final, final step. Let me show you. It's important to have the proper techniques and technology. It's important to have this ice cube in your bell. You also need a special stuffing device. I got this from Terry Warburton, Warburton trumpet mouthpieces, uh, along with uh, a bunch of other stuff I didn't need. important that's in there deep. Now check out the fog.
including myself, a third trumpet player at best, are successfully able to do. Go ho! <laughs> <laughs> It's very important to be in the right frame of mind before you attempt any of these trumpet tricks. I prefer to devote at least seven and three quarters hours of intense focus on Maynard Ferguson prior to any gig that I have. Maynard, he's the right way to go, and I urge you to, to start in small increments, maybe an hour, two hours max, until you've devoted the mental toughness it takes to listen to upwards of seven to ten hours of high note trumpet playing a day. You can start with John Faddis, you can start with some of those other guys, but until you're able to really get ten to fourteen hours <laughs> of Maynard Ferguson. <laughs>